All right, hello, so we're solving longest increasing subsequence. And I've solved in enough like two pointer problems to know that it, I think it's kind of using like two pointers, but actually there's a really efficient way of using binary search. And if you look at the um, highly po highly the most voted post, uh, you can use greedy with binary search. So I'm going to explain this. So consider if we have an array of this, well, we pick one by one in order. And when three, three is less than previous number eight, right? So we create another sub array and we keep, uh, we keep three in the future. So it's going to be two comma three with four, force pre of wait, force bigger I mean not uh, force less than the previous number right so but we can't extend sub one but we can extend sub two because three is less than four so we keep on creating or adding sub arrays like this but actually um, we have to keep different sub arrays which is poor performance so what we can do is um, we said that we can't um, extend or change right but actually if you can find that number uh, if you can find a number in our array that's smaller than our um, incoming integer through a binary search then we can edit it so we can keep just one sub array and when new number is not greater than the last element we do a binary search to find the smallest element that's um, actually greater than the incoming value. Sorry, I said smaller. It should be greater than the incoming number and replace that with uh, the incoming number. So 268 and we find the smallest number that's greater than the incoming number, 3. So that's 6. 6 is the smallest number that's greater than 3. So we, we change this value to 238. And same thing, it's we keep on adding the value that's already in our array. And if we do, uh, so yeah, like this, two, three, four, five, kind of like this. Okay, but I, you might be wondering, we have to somehow use a array, not a array list, like, how do you um, add so you can see the sub array size is changing, but actually there is a really small way to do this. <clears throat> First, let's initialize some values and we're gonna create a folder of new int nums.length. Okay. And the way we're going to input values in our old array with the correct index. So we want our values to be added to zero index, first index, second index, all in order. But that's a little bit confusing for me, at least when I try to do this. But the easy way is like this. Uh, let's say for int num and nums for incoming values. We do a binary search that looks for the smallest value that's greater than the incoming value. Here, this condition. And then, as usual, binary search, we need two pointers in i. And normally for j, we always put it at the end, right? So we normally put nums.length. But actually, because we want to place our answer in a in-order array, we actually can use this kind of trick where we'll be initializing j to zero. So our binary search will return an index and we're going to place that value at that index. And for the first iteration, it will always be a zero index. I mean, index zero. Because i equals zero, j equals zero. So while i is not equal to j 
this is for the next iteration so for the next binary search but for the first iteration we're gonna place the incoming array I mean incoming new number here and if I equal size now we increment size uh, I'll let you know what this means in a second but uh, let's write the binary search first so int mid is i plus j minus i divided by 2 and if tails are not tails if nums mid is less than the incoming value so I like to put values inside it to make it more intuitive so let's say this value nums mid Whatever, uh, whatever value that we have at the middle index, let's say it's 4, so 4 is maybe less than 8. Now, 4 is less than 8 here, so we have to move our i towards the middle point because the front half is useless. So i will be mid plus 1. Sorry, I've solved it. So. <clears throat> Else j equals mid. We shift J. Okay, and so this binary search will return index i with the value that's smaller, uh, with the smallest value that's greater than x. Okay. And we place that value and I'll show you what size does. A print like this, and we want to return size because we know that when we increment size, we know that that's when our when there's uh we know that another new value has been added to our OLA array, so. We know that it's increasing. Oh my gosh. How did this work with the original array? Basically, I was doing a binary search on the original array, not our, um, uh, where is it? Our just, our array that we initialized at the start so this should work oh careless mistake okay so that's it and i'll see you guys next time